Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 10th of April for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you a collective overview that we can all relate to, but please stay with me as I explore each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces in much greater detail. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new here, it's great to have you with us. This is very much a community, so please share any thoughts you have. And I'd be honoured if you would subscribe to the channel. So please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. However, if you would like to understand how more serious astrology can play a role in your life and your decision making, if you do give me three pieces of personal birth data, of time, date and place of birth, I can prepare for you your life roadmap report. This will help you to get a much more intimate understanding of the patterns that have played out so far, but how you can overcome the challenging ones and seize the more positive ones more firmly. Also, in my special package of 30% off, you can get your 12 month personal forecast, totally unique to you. Now, please see below for more on that, but if you don't know your time, if you can give me your date of birth and your place of birth, I can produce your solar chart. This won't have an ascendant. It assumes the moon at midday. But if you really enjoy my YouTube videos, you can align it with your sun sign really well. And again, the special offer uh, applies to that too. Again, please see below for more. Now this week begins with the Sun racing towards an exact conjunction with Jupiter in the sign of Aries. Now this is one of the best aspects you can possibly have in astrology. The Sun of course is about our raw energy and our desire to achieve things but Jupiter is very much about expansion and it's about optimism and it can in traditional astrology be linked to fortune. When we put the two together in the first zodiac sign of Aries, we're talking about the fire of that sign sparking greater confidence, momentum, thrust. So a lot of excitement reaches a peak on Tuesday. They're still going to be allied to one another really well right through this week. But if there is something you want to inject with fresh energy, this is a great time to do so. However, this can be a complex week for relationships. Because Venus also moves on Tuesday into the sign of Gemini, where it's very flirty, very sociable, great for mixing and mingling, or even sending those cheeky text messages. But it forges a very profound link with Pluto for the rest of the week. So I feel that there can be conversations, because both are in air signs, which can help us to really understand who's really in our corner. But conversely, Stern Saturn, very much to do with restrictions, is forging a tense right angle to Venus. So if there are any relationships in your world which aren't working very well, I think this is a week that's going to flag them up, despite the innate positivity of the Sun's conjunction with Jupiter. But there is another irony, because the North Node, obviously mainly usually reversing, forges a very stable link with Saturn. So if we've done something in the past, which has been a good deed, we've helped someone, uh, we've really invested in some way, perhaps even been generous around our resources, I think something can come back to us in a positive way. But the quarter moon, which occurs on Thursday, is in the sign of Capricorn. So those relationship snags may be around professional ties as much as personal ones. Jupiter's involved in that event too, so that's telling. And it's asking us really to stay grounded. For example, if we felt we had such a super duper idea and we really felt that everyone should be just in awe of its magnificence, the chances are that somebody in a position of influence, someone who's been around a bit longer, uh, someone who's quite experienced, who could be important to the next phase of the development of this, whether it's the bank manager, a business advisor, an investor, uh, someone in the family, or perhaps even a boss, uh, it's important to keep those more traditional people on side. So we need to make sure that 
anything we are promising we can deliver on in a meaningful and tangible way which is very Capricorn however by the end of this week Mercury does just edge forwards uh, although it is uh, slowing down ready for its retrograde which begins next week into a conjunction with Uranus so some kind of innovation or unusual idea around how to use our resources could manifest itself as this week draws to a close. But please stay with me as I go through each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces. So Capricorn, your week commencing the 10th of April forecast sees Venus make that transition into house six. When it comes to your professional situation, charm will take you far even if there are those inevitable frustrations that can occur just trying to see it from the other person's viewpoint will be really helpful this week it could also be good for your bank balance because people can feel that you're someone who's serious but also delivers on any commitments you make what can be a little more challenging is if you're in a situation where Despite someone's apparent pleasantries, you know that they don't really get you. And because your ruler Saturn is in conflict with Venus, however much you try to approach things with a degree of diplomacy, it may not work out. However, the fact that the Sun is combining with Jupiter in such a sparkling way on Tuesday for us all, in your case, can be good in terms of a home plan. If you're wanting to change something around where you live, and it could be that you're going to uh, apply for a, a rental or a lease or a purchase, and you just seem to get the gust of the wind behind you to really start to make this prospect take shape and it could be really exciting also saturn in a more productive way forges a great link to the north node in house five think of the areas where you really manifest your talent and if there's someone you want to talk to who you feel is important you could find just the right choice of words to get across uh, those skills and that artistry in a meaningful way. There is a quarter moon in your sign, however, on Thursday, but this one feeds into the buoyancy of Jupiter. Perhaps what you're trying to achieve in terms of your home situation, there could be a doubting person around you, you may try to prick your bubble, you may feel that you're being too optimistic or approaching things in a little bit of an uncharacteristic flourish and rush but i think it's important for us all to listen to our gut feelings and sometimes do believe that things can work out and that uh, uh, life uh, can actually provide solutions now as this week draws to a close i think there could be a sudden invitation around a social prospect maybe it's going to be a friend maybe you're going to go out with a, a group of people and actually have some unexpected interactions and conversations that can prove to be very stimulating. But equally, if you're in a social uh, environment where you feel a little bit bored and you're not really feeling nourished emotionally or in terms of having fun, I feel that you may decide to uh, take a rain check and steer clear of an invitation if you just rather cozy up at home and watch a favorite series or tune into a, a nice movie or listen to some music because a little bit of space for yourself at the end of this week may be something you'll really appreciate. 